all this talk about sexual identity and which bathrooms transgender people should use is clouding a more important issue, what's the sexiest naked bike made? There are more powerful and less expensive alternatives, but ultimately the debate comes down to the Ducati Monster 1200 and Triumph Speed Triple 1050. Both were upgraded for 2016, making them sportier than ever. Little surprise they both carry an R suffix in their model designation. Say it like a pirate would, A-A-A-R-R-R-G-G-G-H-H-H. Ducati Monster 1200 R. News flash, motorcycles are sexy. And red motorcycles are sexier yet. And a red Ducati Monster 1200 R powered by a thunderous Des Modomic V twin? Damn sexy. We knew the Monster 1200 R was going to be formidable when Ducati held the press intro at a racetrack. But how would it work on the street? That was the question. The answer is, even better. Based on the Monster 1200S, the new for 2016 1200R was upgraded both mechanically and cosmetically. Higher compression 13, 1, up from 12.5, 1, larger elliptical throttle bodies 56mm versus 53mm, and larger header pipes 58mm versus 50mm help boost output to 135 horsepower and 82 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheel on the Cycle World Dyno. The S model Zolan suspension was revoved, but not resprung, and the shock lengthened 15 mm for increased cornering clearance. A firmer, flatter, but no longer adjustable seat, toothier racing foot pegs, and new pentagonal shaped mufflers round out the chassis changes, all capped off with a carbon fiber front fender and bikini fairing. An adjustable Olin's steering damper resides atop the top triple clamp. Saddle up to the monster and you can't help noticing that it's all motor, the 1200cc Testastretta 11 Superscripto Dual Spark V-Twin filling every square inch of the engine bay. Things are a bit busy below the belt with the exhaust heat shield, coolant catch bottle, and hoses, etc., but step back and the overall look is clean. And mean. Triumph Speed Triple 1050R. There's a bit of a debate about where this whole naked bike thing began. Ducati was the first to productionize the concept with its 1993 Monster 900, but some would argue that it originated earlier, during the British street fighter craze of the 1980s. That movement was embodied in the 1994 Triumph Speed Triple. The Speed Trip has been redesigned multiple times since then and for 2016 has been further refined. The manufacturer claims the latest version of the dock, 12-valve, three-cylinder motor has no fewer than 104 new parts, including the crankshaft, pistons, cylinder head, balancer gears, transmission ratios, and slipper clutch. Peripheral changes include a redesigned airbox slash inlet and exhaust. The bigger news. However, is the new ride-by-wire throttle borrowed from the Daytona 675R this features no fewer than five ride modes, rain, road, sport, track, and rider, the latter user configurable. Both ABS and TC can be shut off in the latter mode, and if you do, you have to come to a stop to select it. Otherwise, you can toggle through on the fly. At 1050cc, the Triumph's engine is 150cc smaller than the Ducati's, but it has one more cylinder. With 122 horsepower and 76 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheel, the Britby gives up a few ponies to the Italian Stallion, and yet the performance numbers are almost identical. The Speed Triple was just 0.2 seconds slower in the quarter mile posted identical 0 to 60 miles per hour and 60 to 80 miles per hour top gear roll on times and was 0.3 second quicker from 40 to 60 miles per hour in top gear the only category in which the triumph came up short or rather long was in braking distances likely owing to its smaller 320 mm front brake rotors shorter 56.7 inch wheelbase and heavier 459 pounds 17 pounds heavier than the Ducati dry weight. Moreover, 
CW Road Test Editor Don Canet reported that the speed triples fork bottomed under heavy braking, causing the rear wheel to unweight and snake back and forth. Considering that both bikes use comparable Brembo brakes, Olin suspension, and Pirelli tires, much of this is probably down to setup. Of course, with a list price of $14,900, nearly two grand cheaper than the Ducati, the Triumph deserves to be cut some slack. Conclusion These two naked bikes are so closely matched that this comparison could easily be considered a tie. Both bikes are fun to ride, have plenty of character, and, more to our point, are sexy as hell. Thing is, everyone who climbed off the Ducati looked euphoric. It's true what they say about fiery Italians.